Down Donnie's town where the fries wear a crown Crunchy munchy chill dust, it's the magic we trust As the sun sets over the eclectic town of Frighten, Three unlikely companions, Sargon of Akkad, Count Dankula, and Jordan Peterson, make their way to the local hotspot known as Donnie's Diner. The establishment, famous for its giant mascot statue and Cheeto-coated fries, serves as the setting for an evening that borders on the surreal. Scene, Donnie's Diner at twilight. Here, in the wild urban jungle of Frighten, a trio of remarkable creatures approaches their feeding ground. Unlike the typical fauna of the North American eatery, these three exhibit unique intellectual and vocal displays, making tonight's gathering a rare spectacle to behold. Inside the diner, the ambiance is a cacophony of chatter and sizzling friars. Sargon, wearing a thoughtful expression, leads the group to a booth. Dankula, his Scottish brogue nearly indecipherable, jokes about the surreal decor, his words lost like whispers in the wind. Jordan Peterson, looking around with an anthropologist's curiosity, notes the diverse array of characters populating the diner. At a nearby table sits the last Russian, a mysterious figure wrapped in a coat regardless of the weather, nursing a mug of black coffee. Not far from him, Cope Canada and Fredge the Super Mutant are engaged in a heated debate about the ethical implications of mutant rights in post-apocalyptic literature. As they order their food, a mix of the infamous Cheeto fries and the diner's less adventurous offerings Sargon spots a peculiar sight at the drive through A figure, large and hirsute, seems to be taking orders. Is that Bigfoot? He murmurs, squinting through the window. The narrator interjects, Ah, but no. As our intrepid explorer soon realizes, it's merely a very hairy Canadian man, a common yet delightful confusion. A fever dream sequence begins, as Sargon blinks and the scene shifts. Now, V, referred to humorously as the stunted Romanian house elf, flits between tables, offering philosophical tidbits in exchange for sips of soda. The diner warps and stretches, the walls adorned with moving portraits of internet celebrities, including a looping hologram of PewDiePie performing his iconic intro How's it going, bros? Peterson, taking notes, posits. The diner is not merely a place of nourishment. It transforms into a theater of the absurd, where each individual's inner chaos is reflected in the external world. The dream ends abruptly as their food arrives, bringing the trio back to reality. Dankula attempts to describe his vision of a perfect Scotland, but his thick accent makes his tale sound like an ancient, indecipherable script. Closing scene, reflections and departures. As they finish their meal, each reflecting on the night's surreal events, the narrator concludes, In the heart of Frighten, Donnie's Diner stands as a crossroads of realities, where the mundane meets the mystical. For our three philosophers, the journey was less about the destination and more about the exploration of the mind's most whimsical corners. As they step out into the cool night air, the neon lights of the diner flicker softly behind them, a beacon of normalcy in a world that often feels as fantastical as the myths and legends discussed within its walls. The scene fades out, leaving the audience to ponder the thin line between reality and the bizarre realms of the human experience.